What's up? Kings of Throwback, YouTube. Uh, it's your boy, Big Slim, 627. I wanted to do a... Uh, I want to do a uh, a vid. Uh, I'm not, not too many jerseys in this. I'm going to be showing four jerseys. Um, wanted to. Um, I'm uh, definitely excited about uh, my pickups this week. Um, I uh, go ahead and show you real quick what I'm rocking. Uh, shout out to Pistol Two One Third and uh, Throwback King, Big Snacks, both Raider fans rocking the. Uh, I got my authentic. Uh, Warren Sapp, the quarterback killer, uh, Oakland Raiders joint uh, from 2005-2006, and I got the uh, the the, uh, the Los Angeles Raiders uh, pinstripe green underbill. This is actually the uh, I actually had this when I was a kid. Um, I had the snapback version when I was a kid, and it was made by Sports Specialties. And I'm so glad that Mitchell Ness is making all them. Making a lot of those again. Excuse me, I got hiccups. Um, I'm so glad that Mitchell Ness is making all of them again. Um, I'm, I was always a sucker for these hats, man, that had the patches, or not the patches, but the embroidery uh, uh, NFL logo on the side. And uh, and just just the way that it's wrote. I mean, I had I had Eagles hats. I had I had a bunch. I had a bunch Steelers hats. I had a bunch of them. I had a Golden State Warriors hat that was just so hot. Wish Mitchell Ness would make it. Um, but um, uh, Mitchell Ness. Uh, Stitched here on the side, and the uh, got the uh, NFL, got the Raider logo on the back. Um, I was gonna move backwards. Um, but yeah, I want to uh, uh, give some give some quick shout out. Shout out to Jay King. Um, shout out to uh, Hometown Fitters. I got that Blue Jays joint coming for you. Actually, right behind me. Um, it's in that stack there. I'm gonna pull it out and. Uh, Rock that! I, I saw that uh, you made like a request. Uh, you know, you want me to put on some Jay's joint, so I got that coming. Um, um, uh, quick shout out, or well, showing my uh, my grandfather love, man. Is these are his World War II dog tags. Um, you know, I tend to I wear them every now and then, and uh, wanted to go ahead and and then I, you know, a couple times that I've worn them, I usually I've, I've worn it with this, so. Um, show my grandfather some love. You know, I mean, how old these things are. I mean, these things are over, you know, over 70 years old now. So, but um, I love my grandfather, man. He passed away in 2007. So, um, uh, shout out to Murph. Uh, you got you, you had given me some love on my um, uh, you give me some love on my um, on my last uh, my getting girls volume eight. Um, my baseball, my diamond pickups, my diamond joints. Um, uh, this is a shout out to G Meister. Uh, uh, God bless you, man. You and your family. I'm about tired of you telling everybody you're going to Disneyland and you ain't inviting nobody. <laughs> nah, I mean, hey, if you if you uh, you out there, man, you got it like that. Do it, man. Uh, you got a beautiful little family. Um, shout out to Brian and Andres, my favorite twins out on the West Coast. Uh, the Robinson. Shout out to Danny. Um, shout out to my um, my roommate. He, I, he, I don't even think he watches my videos. I get, I get on him. I'm like, you know, dude, why don't you watch my video? But then again, I mean, all he's got to do is walk 10 feet and see what's in my room. So, uh, shout out to my roommate, uh, the bedroom gangster, aka Shane O'Mac. Y'all know him as uh, Dewey Collins. Um, you know, he picked up a bunch of my stuff. Uh, he's got some nice stuff, and um, I, I I tend to give him a hard time a lot, you know. And I try to tell him, I said, look, man, you know, I said. You know, I said you're my boy, so you know, I, you know, I, you know, boys mess with boys, and he's just like, I don't know, you know, he's, you know, sometimes, I don't know, I don't have a great sense of humor sometimes either, but, but whatever, you know, it's all good, it's all love, when it's all, you know, at the end of the day, um, so yeah, um, shout out to the Ice Man, uh, my man Alan, uh, I'm talking to you in a minute. Hope you're doing good. Um, uh, let's see, Danny. Uh, Murph, Pistol 2 one -third, uh Hometown Fitted, Mighty Mouse Fan, uh, I can't forget you, you know, go Eagles. Um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Mighty, we can meet up at the, uh, I know you keep talking about uh, you're definitely going to make the Black Friday sale at uh, at the Mitchell and Ness at the, uh, the flagship store up in Philly. And uh, I, I've got a couple joints that I'm looking to pick up there. I don't get them, I'll just get them on, you know, I'll get them online, but... Um, uh, there's two that I'm I'm eyeing, 
And by the way, Alan, you're one of them too because you picked up that uh, you got that uh, you got that Vince Carter, the big the big Vince Carter. I know you don't wear that, um, so I need to get you one. I need to get you a smaller one, and uh, I get you a smaller one, then I can you know we can work that trade. Um, and I knew you obviously ain't coming off of it. <laughs> I know what you put. Uh, I know what you put snacks through to get that thing. So, um, but anyways, y'all, let me go ahead and put. Uh, let me go ahead and do these. Uh, these. Uh, these pickups real quick. Um, try to real quick. Nothing's ever real quick with me. But it was actually kind of cool, you know, that I was actually, you know, that I'm only showing. Um, you know, I'm gonna call this getting grails volume nine, because I mean it really is, you know, getting grails. I mean, there's a couple. There's a, there's some grails to me here. You know what I mean? Um, so, uh, I'll go, without any further ado, I'll go, I'll go ahead and and get moving. I'll show my first my first joint here. Uh, out of the four that I'm showing, this is the only one that I used to own. Um, all the other ones are all brand new. I've never owned it before. Um, kind of cool to uh, to get to send some shout outs to y'all because uh, you know most of the time I do two, I, I do so many video I do so many jerseys like I'll I pull out a pile and have them sitting right here and then you know and then when I I try to go I try to go and uh, you know and 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 it's like you know and here's a jersey okay thanks bye shout out to everyone had to take care you know and then I just gotta hit stop because you know I'm afraid YouTube will tell me my video is too long or whatever so you know so it's kind of cool to get to give some shout outs to y'all you know talk a little bit um, you know and usually I'm just you know I try to make it all about the jerseys you know like Snack says you know make it all about the jerseys you know um, but um, yeah, this is this is cool. Like I said, so this is the only this is the only joint um you know, this is the only joint that uh make sure these are all straight, man. I misrepresent my grandfather now. Um this is the only one that I used to have. Uh so I'll go ahead and show this first. It's the uh seventy fifth anniversary. Um shout out to Throwback King. I know you I I know you had this in your uh in your seventy fifth video that you had or no your uh, the picture that you had, all your 75th, your 94 jerseys all lined up. Uh, I believe you had this too. Here's the, uh, this is my Dan Marino pickup that I just got. Um, everything double, everything double stitch, nameplate, Marino, 13, all double stitch, double stitch on the, sh on the shoulders, on the shoulders, uh, screen print on the, uh, screen print on the sleeves, and, and the Dolphin logo. Um, so, yeah. This is the uh, Made in Korea version, so it's not not too bad. I kind of wish I still had a first run, but I wish I could find a first run. But yeah, I had it and thought that I was going to give up on the Jersey game in 07, and it just didn't happen. And I had that, got that itch again, and it just happens. You know, 94. Yeah, not a bad looking Jersey, man. I was able to pick this up in a combo deal with one of the other jerseys I'm about to show. This, is, this has been on eBay a few times, and the guy kept, he wasn't hitting the reserve. I mean, people weren't willing to pay that much for it, I guess. And, and uh, you know, I mean, it's in great shape. I don't think it's brand new, but it's, it's damn close. There's not, a, there's not a flaw on this thing, so. So, happy to pick this up again. 94 Dan Marino. Um, when, I, when, I, when I started collecting throwbacks, there was a couple old jerseys, like, you know, besides Bill Russell, like the ones that you know, Jerry West, Will Chamberlain. Um, there was a couple of throwbacks that I wanted to get, and, you know, because I just, I, I just didn't think that you would see anybody wearing them. I never saw any rappers wearing them, you know, I mean, um, so I just wanted to go ahead and get these anyways. Uh, one was the 6970 Lou Hudson Hawks joint. It's the powder blue with the, with the, the, the red over white, um, Hawks, number 23. Um. He was a power forward, played for the uh, played for the Hawks. Um, I want to get that one. Um, Dan, I know Danny said he's got a hookup to where maybe I might be able to pick it up from him. Um, hopefully I can. Uh, and this, this is the other one that I picked up. Uh, shout out to Ronnie. Um, uh, Ronnie helped me with this one here. You know, I wanted to make sure I was buying something legit because I mean I got burned on the Oscar Robinson, but uh, the Oscar Robinson rolls, but I didn't pay hardly. I'm I, I paid almost nothing for that, so I mean that'll be a good joint to just wear around, and you know, and if I get something on it, you know, nothing to cry over, you know. So here's the one I got. It's a 1954, 1955, um, 
It's probably Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Hawks, uh, Lewis Hitch. You know, nothing, uh, nothing super special about it. It's just, uh, just, you know, it's exactly what you would expect from the 50s, you know, just, just numbers and a shirt. <laughs> you know, no wow factor, nothing like that, just, just one that I'd always hoped to pick up, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I, I figured the jock tag that was on here, you know, it looks about right for the time. You know, for the Mitchell Ness run that they made for these. Uh, find the damn camera. 54, you know. You know, the jersey's not in, uh, it's in okay shape. I mean, I wouldn't say it's in, it, it's in good condition, I guess. You know, there's, I might have to give it a wash and, you know, maybe even dry clean it. But, I mean, I didn't pay much for it, so, you know, I was happy to. I was happy to pick it up. Numbers and everything are all in good shape. Nothing's, you know, I mean, for its age, it's in good shape. So. Alrighty, and then I, I picked up a, uh, I got a baseball joint. Um, a few people around Kings uh, throwback already know that I picked this up. Um, it's a uh, 1976, uh, 1976 Baltimore Orioles, uh, Jim Palmer. Yeah, no patches or nothing like that, but you know, for for you know a uh, for an Orioles jersey, I live I live in Baltimore. I'm I'm nowhere near an Orioles fan, but uh, I mean I came up in Cincinnati, so if I had to pull for you know either either the Phillies or the Reds, you know, so yeah, I, this is a I mean an orange jersey. I was trying to get a McCovey one time, and I I, I lost out on the McCovey. So I mean I, this isn't you know this isn't a bad pickup for what I paid for either. I think I won it for like 64, 64 shipped. It was on eBay, so not bad, you know. It's it's all in great shape. Uh, so yeah. Uh, alrighty. Yeah, I won't. I won't lie. I like this joint. Uh, so. So this leads me to my. Uh, Leads me to my last, uh, my last pickup, and this is the one that uh, uh, I guess you could call. I, I should call this video the Bank Breakers. <laughs> well, at least this one, anyways. Um, I had to have this man. This is my man. Um, um, you know, I've been trying to get these. The, I've been trying to get every any of his jerseys. I'm still trying to find the uh, the Mitchell Ness All Star that they make for him. I guess this is probably the '87, '88. Uh, but anyway, I was able to pick this up. Guy showed up on eBay with it. I talked to uh, I, I talked to Ronnie again. You know, I'm glad you helped me out, Ron. Um, and uh, and I was able to pick this up. Um, uh, from a price standpoint, this one actually overtakes my Dion rookie for what I paid. My Dion rookie still new with tags in the closet. I've had it six years. Uh, the red one, got it from uh, Lake Show. Um, but now this is my most expensive jersey that I've ever paid for, and uh, definitely happy to have it. It's the uh, February 11th, 1996 jersey. It's the uh, All-Star uh, Michael Jordan. Get tags out of the way. Uh, it's to my come to my attention. I guess uh, this thing actually had um, comes with the card. And all the Jordans that I've ever got, uh, shout out to Jay King, the, the Bulls joint I got from you had the King, had the card on it too. Uh, I guess Ronnie brought it to Ronnie had brought it to my attention that this uh, this is actually an error. Uh, the two is upside down on the back or on the front, one or the other. I mean, personally, I told Ronnie earlier. I said, man, I don't care if it was on sideways. This thing is hot. Um, so yeah, everything's double stitched, white over the black in the back. I mean, look at the side panels. These side panels are just hot. I mean, super hot. I mean, they're real, real thick. That's that's. I, I like that. Everything on the front is screen print, with the exception of everything in, you know, in the white. The NBA All Star. That's that's all stitched on. There's the. Uh, there's the jock tag. So yeah. All right, y'all. Well. I've done it again. Ran out of time, so you know this is my this is my big pickup here. 
Peace, y'all. Kings of Throwback. Much love to y'all. And uh, I'll be catching y'all on Getting Grails Volume 10. All right, y'all. Take care.